Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a copper plate mod on my EVGA RTX 3070. And it is the XC3 edition. Now I'm just showing you the temperatures before. So the GPU temperature is 50.8 and the hotspot is 63.5. There is no memory temperature sensor, so we can't really see those. So we just have to base the results off of those two temperatures now. I'm going to be using a copper plate that I bought from coolmygpu.com. Um, you can find it by going to their website and then going to the view products. And it is the one for the RTX 3060 slash 3070. You just got to make sure that it works for your card. So make sure you read the description. And here's my... GPU. This is a B stock card directly from EVGA. So the some of the screws were a little stripped, so I had to use a different bit than what you would normally use. But there's uh, one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws that you need to remove. And you should be able to remove all of them with a Phillips zero bit. Now there's two screws that have a hex nut on them. And the size of that hex nut is, I believe it's a four millimeter. And then don't forget that there's a screw underneath the warranty sticker. All right, so here is that hex nut I was talking about. There's one on each side. And the way that I found it pretty easy to remove is with my, I mean, if you have two, two screwdrivers, it's probably easier, but uh, what I do is I'll get the right size bit, which is, uh, that one's a, this one's a five, so I need the, I need the four millimeter but I'll put the four millimeter on the screwdriver and then I will hold the Phillips zero bit with my hand and then I'll just twist the hex nut with the screwdriver until it comes off and there's uh, remember there's one on each side so make sure you don't lose it and that's basically it until you get down to the fan connectors so I'll speed through this and we'll pick it back up when we get to that point. All right, so once you're able to pry apart the PCB from the heatsink, 
um, you're gonna see that there's three cables on one side and then if you flip the card over there is one cable on the opposite side so with these clips you basically just have to squeeze the little lever and then it'll pull apart just make sure you do it carefully and not break it All right, so here's the copper plate, and it's basically just gonna go over top of the memory. So what I have to do here is remove the thermal pads and remove the old thermal paste. Uh, so I'll just speed through that process and show you what it looks like after each step. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do before is I will remove the cables from the I think they're all three of these are the fan cables so I'll just remove all three fan cables and then uh, I'll get on with it but uh, just remember that they have little tabs that you have to squeeze and then the cable will uh, disconnect from the little connector All right, so as you can see, I cleaned the heat sink and this is the PCB side. Um, I'm not too worried about the memory chips being completely clean as they're gonna be covered in thermal paste anyway. But the next part that we need to do is dry fit the copper plate. And what I like to do is look around where the copper plate covers. And if there's any components that I don't feel comfortable with like capacitors or something that's sticking up a little too high what I'll do is cover them in captain tape so uh, I'll show that process right here
All right, so I finished covering the components that I was a little worried about, which was only a few. Now you can use as much Captain Tape as you want, just make sure the memory chips aren't covered. Um, now the next thing we need to do is put thermal paste on all of the memory chips and spread it around with a spatula and then place the copper plate on top and then you have to put thermal paste on the top of the copper plate above where the memory chips are. Now I'm going to be using MX2 and this little spatula to spread it around and I'll show you what the card looks like after each step. So here is how it looks after putting the thermal paste on the memory chips and now we'll move on to the copper plate. Alright, and here is how it looks after applying the thermal paste to the copper plate and the core. Now the next thing we need to do is just reassemble the card and we're basically done.
All right, so the card is fully back together. Now let's check if there's any difference in the temperature. Just keep in mind that the 3070 doesn't have a memory temperature sensor. And the main purpose of the copper plate mod is to lower the memory temperatures. Now, I do believe the memory temperature was lowered on this card, but we can't see it, so we can't really verify that. But as you can see, the GPU temperature went down to 48.8 and the hotspot went down to 62.3. Um, so if you're going to do the copper mod, I would only do it if your card is having thermal issues. Um, so thank you for watching my video. Hopefully it helped you out. Feel free to like and subscribe and leave any questions or comments you have below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.